Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope you're doing well as usual and welcome to my channel. If you're new here Aquarius, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Okay, if you have Aquarius in any of those placements in your chart, this is just a popular reading for you. Do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force fit anything. The best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. Okay? Um, that's why they're timeless. So it doesn't matter when you see them. There's no time frame, no time limit, no expiry date. But do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the other readings I've done for you in the previous past, but do not focus only on your sun sign, Aquarius. Check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Then you might want to check some other readings for those specific signs. Sometimes your messages come stronger from there. You, it all depends on your current life path or journey. Okay. Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's the best way to support the channel. And I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. Last but not least, Aquarius, I am no longer offering uh, personal readings. Okay. Um, so, uh, I don't know if it will be permanent or um, temporarily, I, I'm, but for now, I'm not doing it, okay? And, uh, well, I'm doing it because I need some of that, my time and energy back, okay? Look at that, there you are, strength. But if you, if you would like to still reach out to me and contact me, or if you have any questions, please feel free to do so, okay? I'll try to get back at you as soon as possible, or as, you know, as I can. All the info is in the description box down below. And please remember, I do not reach out to anyone offering my services, okay? Please be aware of any scams. Okay, one more. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Hold it. Relax and release it slowly. Okay, Aquarius, the heart of the matter, what this reading is about, or the current energy that you're dealing with, or will be dealing with soon, is the Two of Wands, okay? So I think some of you are or should start seeing, you know, that uh, it's time to... Some of you are, are already feeling ready to do this, okay? You're feeling ready to put yourself out there, you know, show the world what you've got, okay? And see if you're ready for the world, to show the world what, what you've got. Uh, don't think that way about if you're ready, okay? Better question would be is if the world is ready for you. Is the world ready to see what you've got, okay? Okay, uh, Corey, some of you are being called, okay? Two, maybe. Put yourselves out there now, okay? You know, this could be in any sense, you know? Um, you know, maybe a new job. Something creative, something passionate, okay? more than anything something that drives you i don't know you know it could be a youtube channel a blog a website online business okay maybe any other thing but i think it's time for you to to put yourself out there okay and expand and grow The energy that's crossing and it could be a challenge or a blockage is the five of swords some of you are you know it's just constant energy that's always provoking you uh, something you know maybe someone or something you know, that's always wanting to put up a fight with you okay 
You're having a hard time ignoring it, walking away from it, you know. Okay? This could be in your mind also, you know. This could be a lot of negative talk, self-talk in your mind. Okay, let's see in a minute. The energy that's in front, uh, in front of you, the energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind, you are aware of this. Two of Cups. I think, you know, this is an energy, I see it this way as you having, you know, a conversation with yourself. A lot of self-support, you know, this is maybe you connecting to your higher self and, you know, uh, talking yourself to maybe, you know, doing something. Some of you have true conversations with, it's like other versions of yourself. I think sometimes you can visualize yourself sitting in front of you and you're talking to that version of you, you know, and, uh, but it could be that, you know, you are trying to support yourself somehow and trying to heal something. And it's something about this two of wands energy. That you're ready to do something. Okay. Now I got another, uh, for some of you, you're thinking about maybe coming into union with someone. Okay. Trying to communicate with someone, express your feelings. Probably if it's not feelings, if it's not really emotional, you know, could be within a situation where you're thinking about coming closer in contact with this and, you know, interchanging some type of energy. Okay. But, uh, you are, you are, or you should start doing this soon. Um, this five of sword energy, you know, some of you might be feeling, you know, not tested, but um, let me see. Okay, let's see. Let's lay more cards down and we'll, we'll really see what's going on with that Five of Swords. Below you in your subconscious mind, and you don't see clearly, and you should because it's your higher self or divine trying to tell you this. Page of Pentacles, you know, it's, it's time. For something new don't be afraid to 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 start fresh to start small okay uh it's just a page yes but hey rome wasn't built in one day right um take your pentacle take your energy take your initial investment and go for it okay have faith keep your chin up high okay and uh, don't be afraid to do this okay even if you think you're not ready you're not good enough that you don't have the required tools to do so okay uh, don't don't think that way some of you yeah this five of swords it, it just got this hint like there's some you know some energy some something someone some people I don't know they're just trying to give you a hard time stop engaging with them okay it seems like they just don't have any anything better to do with their energy or their time. So they just try to... I think it's even just a dumb energy. You should be dealing with. Behind your recent past, or where you're coming from, or the energy that's pushing you through this, Nine of Wands, okay? Nine of Wands is an energy of someone who you know, probably has been hurt too many times, okay, betrayed and hurt, 
cheated, lied, you know, and is hurt and scared and doesn't really want to go out and play and have fun, you know. Um, but I think you're tired of being in this energy. That's why you have to, it's time for you to step out, okay, and show yourself. Show the world what you've got. Show the world what you're made out of. Stop uh, standing all alone inside of this cage. Because you're not even comfortable in there. I think it's time for you to, to experiment, to, like I said, expand your Expansion, just expand. Okay? Stop dealing with these energies that are just, you know. Drop your swords, say screw it. I don't have time for this. I'm not going to deal with this. I don't have to. It's a very distracting energy. Where you're headed to, what's coming towards you? Or near future for some of you, King of Wands, okay? It's a strong divine masculine fire energy, and I think this is the energy that you have to embody. This is someone who is very action oriented, you know? Bold, assertive. Let's go for this. Some of you might have a little bit of this in your energy, but I think you know you're ready. You're ready to take action. You know that only you. If you take charge and control of your life, you'll be able to to achieve what it is that you're trying to do or what you want to do. Um, King of Wands with that salamander in the ground, you know, that's divine protection against fire. So don't worry, you are protected. It's kind of neat because in the past, present, and future, we have wands. And it's the energy where you're coming from, what they're telling you, or what you're dealing with, or what you're feeling to be called to do, and the action that you have to take, and the energy that you have to embody. Okay? So it's time for you to now, you know. Now, with that two of wands, you've got the two of cups crowning you. Which is, you know, I think more than anything, it's just you connecting with something that you do love. Something that's meant for you. Something that resonates or vibrates at the same frequency that you do. Something meant for you. And I think for some of you, it's going to even bring some type of healing. Or something that you have to heal with that one thing that resonates with you, okay? But to do that, stop dealing with this five of sword energy, okay? And it doesn't matter how small you think you are, it's time for you to, to do it and keep your head up high, keep your chin up high. Do not lower yourself to anyone. Okay? Because you're headed to that King of Wand energy. Very empowering. Because you're ready. It's how you see or how you should see yourself or how you should respond to the situation. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm? That's emotional fulfillment to the maximum. Go after what truly makes you feel very happy. Go after your dreams, okay? And live life as if you're already in this energy. Because that will make things much easier between you and the divine to manifest your dream life and your true desires. You'll see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? You'll see better days 
after all what you've been through. Okay? Surrounding you and influencing you or were affecting you. Okay? Nine of Swords, there's a lot of stress, anxiety, you're tired, you're not sleeping well. Okay? You don't have your head straight here. Okay? You're having a hard time thinking and planning. Okay? That's why we have to get out of this. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. But this is influencing you because you're tired of this. You're just tired of this. That's why this energy is behind you, pushing you through this. Okay? You're tired of being in this energy. Dealing with negative, lower vibrational energies around you also. They cause anxiety. Stop engaging with them, okay? Stop lowering your vibration to their level. They'll always beat you at their game at that level, okay? You're meant to shine, Aquarius. You're meant to to vibrate at a higher level, okay? So yeah, you're up in your head stressing. Don't do that to yourself, okay? It's time, it's time for a change. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to start small. Let's start all over again for some of you. Hopes and fears, temperance, Sagittarius energy, it's very beautiful, you know. I want to do my magic. That's what you're telling yourself here. I want to stay balanced. I want to, I want to I want to become a better version of myself. But I want to do my magic. Do it. Some of you, yeah, it's like you lost your mojo. Okay. There's some energy that has to be cleansed or purged here. Okay. You have to balance your energy with two cups. Purify it. You know. From one cup to the other and throw the rest at you and, until it's crystal clear. But don't be afraid that you won't achieve something. You can do it. Okay? Keep hoping for it. And go for it. Aim high. Keep your head high. Okay? Oh. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, is the Eight of Swords. Okay? There you are. Okay? It's connected with that stress and anxiety. You're trapped. Okay, you can't see things clearly, but you put yourself in here, okay? Well, of course, some of the circumstances that surround you, but this is mostly, you know, your mind has been your worst enemy. Get yourself out of this. You're in a really funky energy. Get out, get yourself out of this funk, okay? Uh, set yourself free, Aquarius. It's time for you to expand, to, to travel the world, to experiment, to see far beyond what's out there. Stop holding yourself back. Stop making things hard on yourself. Bottom of the deck, go after your dreams, please, okay? Take, you know, that's the Holy Grail, you know? That's the night going through this quest to find the Holy Grail. That Holy Grail, I've always said it, it's in here. It's what makes you truly happy, okay? Go after what truly makes you happy, Aquarius. Okay, that's your quest right now. Don't betray yourself. More swords. Okay. Karma, karmic justice. Things will be balanced for you if you do listen to your true inner calling. Okay. Okay, let's get additional messages or advice or warnings in case I'm missing something here.
just shuffle two more times. And we'll see what we get. What else would you like to tell Aquarius regarding this reading or situation? If there's something else they need to know, if there's something else you want to say to them, what would it be, please? What else do you want to tell Aquarius, please? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, this is why I love Tarot. King of Wands, you are in charge of your life, okay? This is where you're headed to. You have to do it. You have to take action. It's all up to you, okay? Divine will help you. Divine will make things balanced for you with that karmic justice that we saw, okay? But it needs to see you do things. If you're not interested, if you, if you, if you stay there stressing and fear, all tied up in your head. A lot of self-negative talk. Yeah, there was the five of swords that I picked up on when I started reading. Self-negative talk. That may be the issue with most of you. Okay? That could be your lower vibration. Okay? Stop engaging with it. Okay? Try to, try to change that within you okay don't betray yourself aquarius we got the emperor aries energy you are in charge of your life that's the message of this reading you are in charge of your life okay two kings of wands and that emperor energy you know do i need to say more no you are in charge of your own life and destiny here, Aquarius, okay? Set yourself free from your own self-negative talk. That's for most of you, okay? But if not, if there's another energy, you know, don't respond to it anymore, okay? Don't deal with it anymore. They don't have anything else to do with their energy, okay? But don't, don't let them do what they want with yours. timer the screen doesn't turn off it just distracts me <clears throat> got the blister in the bottom and I just remember the salamander you know divine protection that's what the salamander means okay you are protected what else would you like to tell Aquarius regarding this reading, please? With the spirit of the animal stuck. What else do you want to say to Aquarius, please? Okay. Aquarius, you got the cougar. Assertive. And the cougar card says that in silence you find power. You know, right before the Five of Swords, we have the Four of Swords, which is that person, you know, laying in silence and quieting his mind, you know. Maybe it's something within your mind, you know. Maybe, you know, all the stress, all that mental anxiety is getting the best of you, okay. This is where you're going to have to talk to yourself support yourself okay and do it with love okay talk to yourself support yourself through this okay but quiet your mind don't let your fears doubts insecurities 
Stop listening also to the news, to the media, what they say. That doesn't help at all either. Okay? Okay. So in silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. Like with two kings of wands and one emperor, you know. <laughs> okay, does it have to be clearer than that? You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. That's your card right there. Okay, Aquarius, that's the best I can do for you. Oh man, please, Aquarius. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to go after what you want to do and show the world who you are. Okay? Don't see yourself as you are not good enough. Remember, I told you, you have to ask yourself, is the world ready for you? Okay? Oh, my dog. Okay, Aquarius, um, I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance that you are seeking at this moment of your life. If you do like it, if you enjoy it, please do hit the like button and leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much, okay? Aquarius, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Aquarius.